You you see on solo? You see on solo? Come box. Come box. Come come box. I'm over here. Come on. We'll go over here right in the grass. I'm right here. So you can shoot? I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. You I'm right here. Come swing on me first. 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 See you. Come swing on me first. I see the gun in your pocket. I see the gun in your pocket. Come swing. I see the gun in your pocket. Come swing. Look, got the gun in your pocket. Come swing, bro. Well, I see the gun in your pocket, boy. Come swing. I see the gun in your pocket. Come swing. Why you got a gun? I'm right here. Come swing. Why you got a gun? I'm right here. Come swing. You seen I'm naked? I'm right here. Come swing. Why you got a gun? Come swing. Come swing. Why you got a gun? I'm right here. Come swing. Why you got a gun? Come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me, come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me, come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me, come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me, come swing. Yeah, you see that? He ain't gonna box a white boy because he got a gun. As soon as I swing, you go up it. As soon as I swing, you gonna up it. As soon as I you gonna up it. You scared of a white boy. You got a gun. I'm naked. You see me. You ain't naked. It's on you. I'm in your face, nigga. It's on you. If you wanna swing, swing, boy. Swing. I'm gonna knock you. Out, swing. So why you got the gun? Swing, boy. So why you got the gun? Yeah, put your camera down, swing. So why you got the gun? Put your camera down, swing. Why you got the gun? Put your camera down, and so swing. So why you got the gun? Man, come down, boy. You trying to kick, boy? You. Like, well, you you got a gun come on, on you, boy. You got swing. a gun on come you. On. I'm from the north. Little Melvin. Hey, people. So when I seen yellow, thought he. He ran in his car. Got that gun because nobody wants to lose to a white boy, and that's the reality. You talk to a nigga that done this six years, and that ain't nothing to brag about. Put your camera down, swing. Oh, you. Put your camera down, swing. What's up? Put your camera down, swing. What's up? I'll show you. Come on, swing. Look, he got the gun. Put your camera down, swing. What's up? Oh, you. Put your camera down, swing. Yo, yo, yo. It's Big Ant Man. Spokesman, man, we back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and I said it before, and I say it again, and I'm gonna continue to say it as long as the internet exists. Cause as long as the internet exists, you're gonna always have a lane in the pocket for circus acts, clowns, and crash dummies to every once in a while break through and become the part of the trending topic for the conversation online. And as long as that is going on, other people who might lack a skill, a talent, or something that can be productive in a positive way, they looking at how can I get in the mix as well? Oh, all I gotta do is risk my freedom. All I gotta do is do some clown stuff and I can get up on there and I can crash myself out, but I'll be able to have an opportunity to be talked about they're going to go be crash dummies as well. And we're going to always speak about uh, being against that on Urban Politicians TV because this is an anti-crash out platform. Crashing out don't last, my nigga. That little momentary high going to have you chasing that high you got for that day with the interactions online that are not real, where the people really don't know you or care about you. You just one of the topic of discussions in that moment. Take your time and find you a real skill. As Yellow Beezy went to the internet and showed, there's another version of this video where it got physical at and said, well, why you didn't post this part of it? I don't think you, nobody would post that with the angle that he was pushing from it that Yellow Beezy got up on him. You followed this man around. He's going to his truck. You bothering him. You talking about an altercation. Then you say you got a gun on you. Why you got a gun? Nigga, this is Texas. Everybody got legal guns here. Are you confused? And then the crazy part about this is people are defending this white dude. Oh, give him a fair fight, my nigga. Yellow Beezy is on Undisputed, having interviews and things like that. Why in the world would he be concerned with fighting a nobody white dude who says nigga in 2024? Are y'all serious? We gonna speak against that because y'all can be brainwashed to crash dummies if y'all want to. But if you need a little bit more, we have that as Mo3's manager came online and said they have no affiliation with this dude right here and most definitely condolences to Mo3's entire family, loved ones, and friends who are still going through with this loss. He also spoke about some other stuff too. Shenanigans y'all got going on. I know you got an album coming out. You and your little swim partner up there doing publicity stunts. Uh, I know you got an interview coming out to support your album. But uh, this man is not affiliated with no Mo3 at all. Y'all can stop using Mo3 name in the uh, caption. This man not feel able no Mo3. Uh, I most definitely don't believe myself that 
Yellow Beasy set this up on purpose. It was recorded live in real time. There are crash dummies and clowns, and this dude is online talking about he's going to continue to say the N-word and all type of stuff. They didn't put this together. This dude right here most definitely is a lost cause and dumb, and when you come on and want to be in black people business, this is what happens to y'all. You don't know this dude. You're not part of the team, and even if you do rock with his people, obviously you're not rocking with everybody on there with y'all on the same page. And I'm going to continue to tell y'all, anti-crash out. And when it comes to people saying the N-word, I've been around white people my entire life. Nobody is comfortably coming up feeling like they have the right or entitled who is white calling black people nigga. I had white neighbors before that rock with me, have respect, ain't never crossed that line. I've had white associates back in the day that never crossed that line. And they know that this line don't need to get crossed out here in Texas. This dude here is a lost cause because he's announcing he's white. Like, oh, I'm white. Dog, why you scared of the white dude? You don't want to lose to me. I'm white. I'm white. You want to announce that you white, but you want to mess with black people and be in black people business. When it comes to this right here, bro, it don't matter about skin color as I thought. Because people always say, man, skin color ain't got nothing to do with it. Well, why is this dude announcing that he's white right here? We are in America, people, and we have a lot of lost dudes out here, and he is one of them. And he is not worth nobody's time. Nobody should be putting hands on him unless he crossed the line and get out of pocket. Yellow Beezy did right. Stay safe, stay free. Because when he start announcing he white, he white, he white, that's most definitely the dude that's going to call the police as he is dry snitching in this moment with his phone out recording, talking about violence. If you really a shooter and a stepper and all the hitter and all that, I thought you'd just get active. Ain't no reason to put to pull your phone out. You ain't got your gun that day. Go home. I suggest you just go be a white dude because you like to announce that you white when it's real in the field at all times. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.